Hey guys, it's Digging with D and P. We are in Arkansas right now. We are heading down to the Twin Creek Crystal Mine. It's going to be our very first time there and our very first ever pocket dig. So come and join us and let's see what big crystals we can dig up today. Come along and see what we can get. So we are on our way down the road to Twin Creeks. We are out in the middle of nowhere. So hopefully we don't get lost and we'll meet you at the mine for some digging fun. So we just got here to the mine. We are waiting to go find where our pocket's gonna be. Look at all this fresh dirt. So we are heading up there to go do our private dig. We're gonna take this crazy road up. <laughs> um, I would bring a truck if you guys are doing a private dig. Definitely put in four-wheel drive. The roads here in Arkansas are a lot crazier than we are used to. So we're going up somewhere over there to do a private dig here at Twin Creek Crystal Mine with Mr. Bob. He's gonna come up and show us where the pocket is in a minute, but we are heading up here. I think he said to the right. We are way up there digging. That's where we're gonna be digging, so I'm gonna walk all the way up there. I'll meet you guys up there. So here is our pocket right here. We're gonna be digging this out. There are lots and lots of crystals in here. So, stay tuned. So he's digging up there, knocking all of this dirt and crystals down. So I'm looking down here, digging through the dirt for black glass. That's what we're looking for. See if we can find any crystals that he may have thrown down. There's a chunk of crystal. But we're looking for more points. Oh, it's got a little point on it, I guess. It's got a point on it. We'll take it. We'll wash it up and see what it looks like when we get home. Let's kind of try to see if we can zoom in. Maybe you guys can help me or see what I'm looking for. Oh, there's some black glass. Find some points. some points all in this wall right here. Look at that. We're going to try to get that out. And look at all these points. Awesome. Awesome. Hopefully I'll try to get them out. I gotta open that up more. That's just mad because it's broke here. Well, show me it. Huh? Please open up the wall, and this is one of the pieces. I'm gonna zoom in. Look at that point. Mm -hmm. If I can get some more big pieces like that. Awesome. So, Cole's been up there digging for all, and I wasn't paying attention. He didn't let me know. But he just got this. Now the sun just went away, of course. Look at these things. Still got all that peanut butter clay on it. This should be awesome once we clean it off. It's even got some on the bottom of it. So he is working hard at digging through this wall. He is bound and determined to get some more pieces. So. 
stay tuned. We'll see what they look like when they wash off too. Polly has been digging. We got a good amount dug out. We still got a long way to go. We've been working on this for a long time. Long time. Very exhausting. It's very hot here in Arkansas. So, well, I know it's kind of boring to watch, but we'll stay tuned. We'll show you once we get it out, if we can. Well guys, we just got done at Twin Creek. We got a little rained out at the end here. We got some great pieces. We can't wait to get home and rinse them off and show you guys what we got. We got some big clusters. Can't wait to see what they look like. So stay tuned and we will meet you at home. Here is that big piece you got at Twin Creek. So this is all that we got at the Twin Creek Crystal Mine, that private pocket dig that we did. This is all that we got. I'll show you guys closely. Everything's been washed and we put in the iron out. These are all points in here. This container is full of points. Lots and lots of points. This one has bigger points and some smaller clusters. That one's about half full. You got some just pieces of quartz. We have some really tiny itty bitty ones. I want to show you guys. We got tiny little Arkhamers. See if I can zoom in here. Look at these tiny baby Arkhamers. And we got one little Arkhamer. It's got a little hitchhiker on. Some tiny, tiny points. We got this like tiny, tiny cluster. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's got a rainbow. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know if you'll see the rainbow. Oh, there's a little bit of rainbow. You can see it. So cool. I love the tiny little points. Some that are, we got a lot of pieces that are on like matrix. one here it's got some like really unique points they're almost like kind of flat and square kind of points it's really interesting same thing with this one's kind of got that too and this one's got that big old point sticking out of there got lots and lots of sparkly points here we got some bigger points here. We got this one that's got big points on it. And then it's got some smaller points on the one tip here. We got some tiny points. These that are double-sided. Look at that. 
all aside. And this side's got some like bigger points that are kind of broken off. And we got this one here too, it's double sided. Kind of broken off on the one side as well. Alright, going to the next. Okay, so here is the second table. Look at all these sparkling beauties. Awesome clusters. This one here reminds me of a boat. So cool. It's got that one big point and the one on the tip there. That one is very sparkly on the sun here. We have this really unique piece right here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It's got like purple and red and orange. It's really unique. And I don't know if it's because of the clay that's still in there that I can't get out. But I have never seen a piece like this. It's the only piece that I have like that. It is really awesome. We got some big points here. Some little hitchhikers on this one. And some like little tiny crystals. Look at those rainbows in the back there. The inclusions. Oh, look at that rainbow. Ooh, they're really sparkling. I love, love the ones with the rainbows in them. Oh, this one's got some rainbows too happening. With those inclusions. Little hitchhiker on this guy. And this one is really unique too. It has like little crystals kind of sticking out of the butt end of it. It's really weird. It's got a really weird growth formation there. Lots of big points. And we got a couple here that have like perfect tips. Very crystal clear. So oh, awesome. And we got some tabbies here. And this one's got on the back some little tiny crystal that's really cool you see those and it's, they sparkle and we got another little tabby here and then we got a little chisel point these are Paul's favorites And then we have a double terminated. He's got a little hitchhiker on. That's so cool. And then we got these two little orange ones. These are the only little orange ones that I found. Little tiny ones. They got little rainbows in them. Let's see if we can get. We got some Arkhamers. Look at this one. This little Arkhamer's got a little hitchhiker with a couple of crystals. Isn't that cool? And then we got a Arkhamer, but it's got one point on one end and two points on the other. So I don't know if they can say that Arkhamer still. That's really unique. We got this Arkhamer. Kind of got a double point too, and it's got um, double terminated coming out of the side there. And then we have this little Arkhamer. Got another little hitchhiker, and he's got like almost two points too, or two hitchhikers there. Isn't that cool? Almost like a bunny rabbit or something. 
super cute. We got all these points. Really cool pieces. These ones have um, like sand inclusions in them. And they've got like a tabby attached to them. Now these ones have the sand trapped in the bottoms. Very, very sparkly. And I like this little one with sand inclusions. Yeah, like all these pieces here with the sand inclusions. And I got this really unique guy. I've never seen one like this before. It's almost got like outlined the crystals with that black. It's trapped in there. I don't know if that is carbon or what what mystery mineral that is. I don't know. But it is a really awesome little cluster. Got a little hitchhiker. Very unique. And then we got some really cool clusters here. They are really kind of sparkling today. Very clear, clear little cluster. Got a double terminated. Some really cool pieces that stand up all by themselves. Look at this one, this one's got some sand inclusions in the back there between those two crystals. Huge point. Oh, I saw some rainbows and one of that back crystal. Awesome. And we got this big one too. Look at this big point. Look at that window, crystal clear. Awesome piece too. It's another crystal clear one. Got a little hitchhiker you can see through the window there. A couple hitchhikers. Isn't that cool? What's this? Another cool piece. We got this really unique piece here. Double terminated. Kind of sticking out there, a little hitchhiker on the top. Isn't that an awesome piece? This one here, look at this one. So it's got the matrix in between, the crystals top and bottom. And then we got this big one kind of sticking up that kind of broke off, but it looks like it's rehealed. Awesome points. Isn't that awesome? I love this one. This one is a huge point. Oh, there's some rainbows in that one. See them? It's got crystals kind of in the bottom here. Very, very unique piece again. Great piece for display. It's got some hitchhikers and it's got like tiny little crystals and it kind of feels rough. On the one side. Super cool. Look at that piece. We got this one with the big point on the matrix. Great for display. 
We got these two here. These were together, but they're only held together by the clay. So once we washed them, they kind of came apart, but they're still super cool pieces by themselves. Look at this big point. It's got like a little tiny crystal with sand and clay is kind of stuck in there. Crystals on the bottom. Little tiny ones. This is an awesome piece. Got a hitchhiker. This one is a really awesome piece. I love this one. It's got like perfect tip. And we got the one that was attached to it. Like little rabbit ears. I saw a little rainbow. Awesome, awesome piece as well. And then we got this guy back here. He is a great piece for display. He stands up. Huge point. He almost has a perfect tip. A little broken. This one is huge, massive point. Awesome, I love this one too. It's got a little base that sits on perfect. It is awesome. We got this little porcupine guy as I call him. He is so cool. He's got all these like points, big, small, little needle points all over. He is awesome. And he is almost all quartz. He's got a little bit of matrix he's sitting on. Just a little bit. But he is cool. Look at this guy. Look at him sparkle. This one is so cool. So cool. This one over here, great display piece too. We got a lot of great display pieces. I think these two pieces were on top of the big one that I'm gonna be showing you here, revealing in just a moment, so bear with me. Stick to the end. Look at that one, other cluster. And this one is really unique too. This one has like points that come straight out at you. It's a really awesome piece. A rainbow, I think I saw. On the matrix. Awesome, awesome piece. Okay, our second largest piece that we got out of this pocket. Look at that. Can you see it sparkle? It kind of does sit up. We're gonna put something behind it to make it sure it stays up. There is crystals on the back of this piece. It is awesome. Can you see all those sparkles? We're gonna go around the back here. And you can see all the points in the back here. This piece is probably like 10, 15 pounds, I wanna say. It's got some matrix it's sitting on. Look at all these points. Awesome, awesome piece. Look at all that sparkle. All right, so the moment you guys have been waiting for. The largest piece we got out of that pocket. For hand comparison, look at how big it is. Huge. Look at all of these points. And it's got a double terminated there with some hitchhikers. They are crystal clear. So cool.
The video does not even do this guy justice. He is awesome. I'll zoom out. See if you can guys see how sparkly it is in the sun. This piece probably weighs at least 20 pounds. Maybe 30. It is quite heavy. It is all on Matrix. I'm going to show you guys the underside. I can get them picked up. He does have some tiny little crystals on the back side. All matrix. Huge slab. He is awesome, isn't he? So here's comparison of probably that second largest piece that we had gotten. Look at that sparkle. Like I said, it's like all the way around, all the sides. It is quite a big piece, probably about 10, 15 pounds for this one. I think this one might have been on top of that bigger piece um, in the pocket. part that's on the crystals is right there where the stone is. That's the only place and then right there. Otherwise it's almost all the way around. Awesome, awesome piece. So this is in comparison with Paul. How big this cluster is. It is very, very heavy. Say about probably what, like 20 pounds at least? 20, 30 pounds. Yep, yeah, it's quite big. Look at in the sun. Sparkle. Some rainbows. Awesome, awesome piece. Let me tip it up so I can see the back. Let's show it back to them. Got little crystals on the back. Little oh, tiny ones. Oh, look at those little guys. Awesome, awesome piece. This is all that we had gotten at the Twin Creek Crystal Mine with our pocket dig. We paid $500 for this pocket dig. You may or may not get as much as we did. You might get more. You might get less. It all depends what's in the pocket. You never know until you open it up. And Bobby, the owner, was gracious enough to help us kind of get that big piece out. And a couple of these smaller ones. So thank you to him. So if you guys want to go to this mine, it is an awesome experience. We loved it. We are planning to go back in the future. Maybe do another pocket dig. They do have um, just some regular regular digs there too. It was like 25 bucks, I think, something like that. And I think he's got like a commercial pit too for a little bit more. So go check them out. Love it. Hey everybody, I just wanted to add, if you'd like the opportunity to get clusters like these from Twin Creek Crystal Mine, please give Bob Facio a call. He'll need a couple of days to get the pocket ready for you, but you have the opportunity to get clusters like these and a lot of other beautiful crystals. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button to join us for our next digging adventure.